Okay, the build process is finished, and now let's get to the most interesting part, the deployment. Here you can see the structure of the production builds. We have the index.html file, and the images, and the JS files. So as I've told you before, this React boilerplate is designed specifically to create ServiceNow ready packages. So we can just drag and drop all of this straight into ServiceNow. Let's open the dist folder. As you noted, or as you probably noted already, uh, the images and the JS files don't have the regular extensions like .js or .png. And that's made on purpose because ServiceNow resource path does not allow uh, any dots in the URL. So we've overcome that limitation by replacing the dots with the dashes. Okay, so let's start the, the deployment process with the index.html file. We'll go to the dist folder here and the index.html, copy everything, and just paste it into the index.html UI page. We'll save the record. Now let's go to the JavaScript files and open the JavaScript script address resource and click the attachments button. Select everything and just drag and drop it to the to the attachments field. The JavaScript is uploaded. Let's do the same thing with the images. I'll select everything and drop it here. The images are now deployed. So our app seems to be ready. Let's, let's check if that's true. We'll go to the endpoint. And here it is. Congratulations. You now know how to use this powerful method of developing and deploying React to ServiceNow. And you've done this, you've done this with the SN React boilerplate. I wish you luck and look forward to see what kinds of applications you guys build with this approach. See you next time.